From a darkened room in a relatively isolated location in Alaska, a 38-year-old woman reaches out to the rest of the world through a journal she posts on the web. In a collection of stories she writes regularly about her son, she documents a 10-year journey. My name is Karone Sturm. I have a background in journalism, which gives me some added benefit in that I've learned how to research a subject, to find answers to questions. Little did I know that one day I'd write a story about my own life and post it on the web. It's a story I feel is important to share. It's really an evolving mystery story. I'm not sure where it's going to end quite yet, but I do know where it began. She uh, had a pretty nice pregnancy, as I recall, um, maybe some morning sickness, um, and then uh, went on to have a successful uh, delivery. But he just never stopped crying. And so that, that was a concern. And he was also bruised. He had a bruise on his head that we couldn't explain. But he did have uh, what I thought was a cephalohematoma, uh, which is a, a large bruise on the top of his head to the point that we actually got an x-ray of his skull. And that was such a scary thing. I thought, my God, you know, my infant baby going in for an x-ray. But that didn't show a skull fracture. Uh, so uh, we just chalked it up to the birth. Because he was born with jaundice, Jojo was placed in an incubator. Carone noticed he acted differently than her first child did at birth. He cried a lot, um, you know, when he was in the little incubation device with the lights and he cried a lot when he got home, much more than our first baby had. I figured he was just fine, that he was just a fussy baby. You know, about that time we had friends and I knew a lot of people who were having kids and, you know, talking about what it was like to have a colicky baby. So I assumed it was either that or, you know, I mean, he checked out fine with the doctor. So there wasn't really anything specific. On most days, Carone stayed home and looked after Jojo. But one day, she left her son in the care of her husband, John. When she returned just hours later, she opened the door to her home and was startled by what she heard. I just heard this horrible screaming. I mean, I just froze. This was a different cry. There was something going on. I ran up the stairs as fast as I could, and and I, I saw John holding the baby, rocking him, trying, you know, so hard to comfort him. But he just continued to wail. I mean, he was, he was really um, having some sort of problem that we didn't understand. John and Carone took Jojo to the hospital. At first, the diagnosis seemed simple, but disturbing nonetheless. Well, she came at around five weeks or so uh, when uh, he had a very loud crying episode. And we evaluated him, and, and it seemed like it was his stomach. The doctor left to write up the orders, and I, I believe I handed the baby to John, who put him on the table to, to put him in his warm you know, coat as I was putting things in the baby bag and then he, I just heard him say, look at this. And I turned and, and saw Jojo laying there on the table with both arms and one leg flailing in the air and the other leg just laid there limp. So I raced out of the room and I said, Bob, you know, our doctor said, come back here, get in here. And, and he came rushing in and he, and he looked at the baby and, and, he, and he looked up at us and he said, who's been watching this child? We went on and did an x-ray at the hospital and they discovered that he had a femur fracture, which was uh, unexpected. You know, we could hear him screaming and screaming and screaming and this went on and on. Oh, it was clear that, that, that many of them thought that we had, had beaten our child. At this point, Caron feared they would be accused of child abuse. This accusation intensified after doctors continued to x-ray Jojo. Subsequent x-rays uh, on that particular day showed that he also had uh, other fractures on the rest of his body. So he looked like, uh, on x-ray, a battered child. He said that he had as many as you know, four or six fractures. And, I mean, that's when the room just started spinning, you know. And he said, uh, 
I've got to tell you that this looks like a, a typical case of battered child syndrome. And if it's not that, it's a very rare bone disease that I've never seen in my practice, um, and it's, which is called osteogenesis imperfecta. And I think I knew at that point that there was no question that's, that's what Jojo had. This was the first time the doctors working on Jojo's case had come face to face with osteogenesis imperfecta. For Corona,